Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Righteous Liberty and Bob. Today we'll be creating Blue Spirulina Sea Moss Gel. And we just want to give God all the thanks and glory and praise for the beautiful bounty that he's allowed us to consume here on earth so that our food can be our healing. Remember to like, share, and subscribe uh, to the channel. So first you will need uh, a large lime, you will need a package of sea moss, and then I decided to use blue cerulean. You can omit that ingredient if you'd like, um, but I really like this recipe, this God-given recipe, because it has helped to heal me from PCOS, from sugar addiction, junk food addiction. It helped me to reset my gut and really um, upgraded my overall health on so many different levels. It's also a great detox Um like I said, you know, not only for your gut health, but from all of these UV devices that we are constantly being exposed to. So first thing is that you're going to open your package. You're going to pour over your filtered water and you're going to squeeze um, in your lime. I prefer to clean the sea moss this way because it preserves the constituents from the natural acids that are within the lime um, while, you know, also purifying it without removing any of the nutrients versus boiling some individuals like to boil but then of course that defeats the purpose of um, utilizing the sea moss if you clean it properly with the lime and you rinse it off um, well you will not have that ocean smell you'll get rid of the salt and any other debris that may have come with the with the sea moss um, during procurement I really emphasize utilizing um, filtered water because you will see in the next uh, few frames that the water rehydrates the sea moss and so all of that goes back in to the sea moss to help it become the gel that you would need it to be so as you see here it has basically um, grown twice its size from um, you know just from sitting around I probably had to sit around for about an hour or two so i'm just cleaning it off with the lime here so then now we're going to prepare to uh, drain it drain off the water and just refresh it with some more filtered water um, you can repeat the process of you know having it soak again but that's not necessary and you can even add a little bit extra uh, lime lime to it um, if, if you're not satisfied with the consistency of your current mixture. Um, so CMOS is very beneficial for individuals who may have PCOS or any other type of metabolic syndrome, such as diabetes, prediabetes, high cholesterol levels, and so forth, because it is nutrient dense, it has um, anti-inflammatory properties, it's an, it's an antioxidant, it can help to level out your hormones if you're androgen dominant, as with PCOS, um, it can help to balance your blood sugar levels, and it also can improve your lipid profile. And that's why I also like using it with the spirulina, because spirulina, in conjunction with that, contains a lot of the B vitamins, um, omega-3s, even protein. You can even get your protein from it. So the nutrients within here really help individuals who have those type of metabolic syndromes. Now, of course, you definitely need to consult a healthcare provider before um, you know, using, using this as a supplement, especially if you may have Hashimoto's thyroiditis or hyper or high thyroid, um, hyper, hyperthyroidism, because of course, sea moss contains iodine. So if you are more prone to iodine toxicity based on any health issues that you have, you want to be very careful in using this. And even if you don't have any of those profiles, you want to um, not go over the recommended uh, daily amount of iodine or any other nutrient, um, you know, to, to, to keep your health um, within check, okay? So it's recommended that you take about one to two tablespoons of um, sea moss a day with or without any um, additional, you know, special ingredient, such as the spirulina. Um, you can take it every day or every other day. Um, 
but of course, definitely consult your doctor. I'm telling you what worked for me and what got my health, um, gut health, overall health um, on the right path that basically healed uh, me of PCOS and, and um, different things of that nature. So basically, you're just going to add the sea moss, the spirulina, and a cup and a half of your filtered water to your high power blender. You're going to blend it on high. Um, until you get it to the consistency that you like. If you want it to be a little bit thinner, then you just add more water, maybe two, um, two cups, two and a half cups. I chose to use that amount of water, which is a cup and a half, because after it solidifies, it just becomes more like uh, the consistency of jello. But if you like it thinner, um, like, like you've seen in other, um, like you may have seen in other videos, then definitely feel free to add more of the filtered water. But here you go. This is basically how it comes out. Um, this is fresh out of the blender um, within about an hour or two it's going to solidify and it's going to be um, of a thicker consistency but you know if if you wanted to blend it back down and add um, more water then feel free to do so and so I add this to my uh, coconut water I add it to my um, you know, fresh water, I add it to my smoothies, I add it to my smoothie bowls, I take it as is. Um, and it just gives me such a, a, a great boost of energy. And like I said, it's, it's healing. It's useful. So thank you guys for joining me <laughs> for another episode of Righteous Liberty in Bob. You know, we, 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 we getting it together over here. So thank you for joining me again. God bless you and take care.